All right, today's video, we're gonna do a case study of a property we sold in Miami and some of the things we did for this property to showcase it at its best. Um, the property was a property that was lived by an older person. She didn't live in the property anymore. You know, her husband had passed away. She was staying with some family members. So she would just visit this property every once in a while, but wasn't staying there. So as you can imagine, the house needed some uh, TLC before we put it on the market. So one of the main challenges with the home since uh, she was no longer living in the home was there was a lot of buildup of dust. So we got a cleaning crew in there yeah, and that was a big job, but um, that made a huge difference in the home because it, the home was original, but it was well taken care of. Yeah, it was well taken care of. Imagine if, if someone's not living at a property and also was an older person, you know, kids, Pets, those kind of things put a lot of uh, wear and tear on a property. So when it's just one person living in a property, that property is going to be in good shape. However, if you haven't been living in that property, you get that moldy smell from older furniture. And, you know, you don't want to walk into a house. It's like, oh, it smells moldy. That's a turnoff for, for a buyer. They don't even realize it when you walk in what it is. But that's one of the things like smell moldy. So. But as you can imagine, um, you know, had a lot of older furniture, had a lot of things that were outdated on the property, but it did have good bones. It had a nice pool, it had a nice backyard. Uh, it was in a great uh, neighborhood. So, I mean, uh, it was a pro type of property that, you know, a family will walk in there and say they could envision themselves in that house. So once we had cleaned the uh, inside, we started working a little bit on the outside. We, we got the lawn cut. And when you first walked in, there was some paint on the property that had been teared off. Uh, from the rain there was mold so we got it pressure clean and we painted that front wall so the house you didn't have to paint the whole house but at least the front the area where it needed some painting we did we touched up yeah sometimes you don't have to paint an entire room maybe just a wall the same as the outside of the house right a nice pressure cleaning and maybe just one wall or two and that makes a huge impact yeah, I mean, you, you think that you're gonna, we're gonna go in there and tell you, oh, you gotta remodel and paint and do the whole house. That's not the case. We match, color match one wall, and we painted just one wall in the front, mm -hmm. and we pressure clean. You know, that was a few hundred bucks. That goes a long way for uh, when you're selling a house. So another thing I did is uh, the landscaping. Um, it had a lot of overgrown trees and a lot of, you know, uh, branches and, uh, uh, you know, plants that were overgrown, weeds everywhere. So I went in there, it's an area that I'm familiar with, uh, landscaping, since I do it in my own property. Uh, we cleaned up the whole backyard, we got rid of all the weeds, and we also planted some fresh flowers. You know, I bought some extra flowers for my garden that were just sitting there, and we went in there and planted it, and, and when you walk in, so it looked like, you know, it was just freshly planted plants, and you know, that gave it a nice color for the photos, mm -hmm. and it just gave it a nice uh, curb appeal. So the next step is staging the home and some of the furniture was outdated, but we were able to use a lot of the pieces and we removed the paintings, we removed the rug, and that just made the room look more spacious and more up to date. Yeah, absolutely. And we declutter, we got rid of some stuff that was just not needed. We put that to the side mm -hmm. and then we just pretty much gave it some small touches, you know, just go in there and just want to showcase that room so it looks big, but at the same time, so it looks a little bit more updated. And another thing, when you're on a budget, um, like we didn't have a huge budget for mm. the staging, so that's why we used a lot of the furniture that the owner had. Mm. And when that's the case, we focus on the living room, dining room, and the master bedroom. Right. Um, because those are really the main rooms that Mm -hmm. that make an impact. So in the area of the kitchen, you know, they had some light bulbs that were turned on, it looked dark. Uh, we went in there, we changed the light bulbs, put new light bulbs, so it lightened up the room. Uh, we also, just by the cleaning, it made such a big difference because, yeah, uh, you know, the appliances weren't even white and by the time we were done cleaning them, they looked really white and new. Yeah. So just going in there and adding some few small accessories, getting rid of like a mm -hmm. toaster or things like that, that were just put it inside one of the cabinets, mm -hmm. just open up the kitchen. And, you know, we worked with what it had. And obviously the, the new person that was gonna go in there was gonna remodel that kitchen. But when you have something, when you present it this way, they could be in there like, okay, we're gonna remodel the bathroom, we're gonna remodel the floors, but at least we could use the kitchen for a while. And that's what you want. You either have yeah. some people that go in there and remodel the house all at once, or sometimes they do it little by little. And at least the property, we could say it's livable. It's, you know, they're using it. It's a functional kitchen. The way you live is not the way you wanna stage a home. 
you want to make it feel like a model home and in a model home they use more like decorations and very small appliances maybe a small coffee maker right something small not something that takes a lot of space because then the kitchen will look smaller so the family room was a great family room it was overlooking the patio with the pool mm -hmm. but they just had a lot of furniture in there yeah so the what we did in there was basically take out a lot of the furniture yeah they even had like an exercise machine in there they had like really you know big couches mm -hmm. and we just you know we got rid of a lot of stuff and just you know positioning the uh, furniture a little different mm -hmm. so the room would look bigger by mm -hmm. just moving the furniture around yeah just removing that's the key removing as mm -hmm. much as you can and then that makes the room look very spacious and large and it gives people the ability to visualize themselves in it after the living area we moved into the master bedroom and what we did there we got a new uh, bed cover and that just neutralizes the room because uh, they had like a flowery patterned bed and that kind of distracts the buyer if you leave something that's very busy it had a huge reclining chair and we moved it to the side so right away once you move that it opened up the bedroom yeah, and also the color white, uh, you know, most hotels have the color white exactly. just for freshness. So it's always good to use color of white. It looks good on the, on the pictures as well. Yeah, and this and the bathroom, there wasn't much you can do. It was an original bathroom. So we just added a few accessories just to add a little modern touches in there. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did in this bathroom. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. This room was interesting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This room uh, was we only had the the nightstand and a few furniture, but there was no bed or anything. Mm -hmm. So this actual bed that you see here was actually a table that Erica came up with, putting the two tables together, mm -hmm. uh, putting uh, you know the bed sheet over it, and it actually does look like a a bed, but it really is just two tables put together. Luckily, you know what he tried to lay on it and sleep on it because it, it would have been hard <laughs> hard as a table on that. But yeah, it worked out. But by doing that, you're able to visualize, the buyer can visualize that it is a bedroom. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's harder for them to visualize this and it kind of looks like, what kind of room is this? Right, a lot of my, when buyers go in there, oh, there's my bedroom, this is very common, there's my bedroom, do I kind of king size bed fit here? Do my nightstands fit here? Yeah. And, and it does, and if it wouldn't have had that there, they might have been like, oh, maybe it doesn't fit in here. But in this case, they were able to visualize it because it was something that would look like a bed or probably thought it was a bed. Yeah. One of the challenges with this property was that it didn't have a garage. Mm -hmm. So usually that makes it very easy when we're decluttering, we store things in the garage, but this house didn't have right. a garage. So we tried to remove as many pieces as we could out of this bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, that's why there are still a few this is like the storage bedroom. Yeah, exactly. We kind of put some things in there as a storage bedroom. But, but it was still a great improvement. And we again opened the window and let that light in. And that just brightened up that bedroom mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, absolutely. And this is the second bed bathroom. Right. The shower curtain, again, was very busy. The pattern was very distracting. So I brought in a white shower curtain. Mm -hmm. And now they can focus on the bathroom, not on yeah. the shower curtain. Yeah, exactly. So now once this picture doesn't show it, but it was a not, very nice uh, white curtain. And once you had that closed, it just looked like a, you know, very clean and, and very, you know, up to date bathroom. And in reality was a bathroom from, from the late eighties. And now we're moving into the back patio, which was a great backyard with mm -hmm. that pool, a great, um, obviously she hadn't been around the home or living right. in it. So there was a lot of clutter. Mm -hmm. And I guess she was using it as storage. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff there in, in the back from pool equipment, things that weren't even being used. So we, uh, we pressure cleaned the back and we put those things to the side, to an area that was just on the side. And, um, you know, we added some plants, we added some flowers. And then, you know, once we cut a lot of the trees and the hedges in the back and just put it really neatly, it just made, you know, made the backyard look like a backyard. Uh, before it was just like overgrown plants a lot of clutter, a lot of equipment that wasn't being used. And, and, you know, we capitalize on the backyard because that's the area a lot of people are going to use the most here yeah, in, that's in a, South Florida. That's you know, a so huge selling point. Definitely a good selling point. Yeah. So yeah, here's some of the things we put away on the side of the house. Uh, so, see, notice how the uh, floor, how we pressure clean the floor 
and notice how the fence was full of weeds and everything, all the plants were overgrown. This shows you a little bit how we clean that little area out. Um, yes, and in this case, again, there was no garage, so we had to use anything that could go outside. We used mm -hmm. this little section as storage. That right. way it wasn't all over the house. The home was able to show better, but this is what we were able to use as instead yeah. of the garage we placed it out so so yeah so this this property uh we we gave it a great exposure uh we had uh, an open house we we showed it for two weeks i'm not one of those that likes to show it one time for the open house and get a few contracts no i like everybody to see it when people can't go through the open house they came in through the weekday and we had a great amount of showings mm -hmm. uh at the end this property ended up selling believe it or not for thirty thousand dollars more than the highest sale there there was a high sale there of, of like 515 and I think we ended up selling somewhere in 560 range of it we sold somewhere in that range so the the seller was very happy that we were able to you know make this house shine and sell it for you know one of the highest sales of the subdivision for a house that's original remember exactly. the time you get you get that money for houses that are updated this house was not updated but it was a great house and we showcased it in a way that the people were able to visualize it and uh and we were able to get that much money for it because it was a great house yeah it was you know a great and house. if you're able to showcase allow people by staging it correctly you give buyers that opportunity to visualize it mm -hmm. that's what, why staging is such a powerful tool to use yeah absolutely staging cleaning decluttering we did pretty much all the basics which sounds like basic but a lot of people skip it and don't it do it a lot of work <laughs> you know yeah we, we did a lot of work i was i remember going there one of the days with a gardener and you know helping him out cut some trees and plants and, and just making it happen you know mm -hmm. at the end this this okay. seller couldn't do it she was an older person and, and that satisfied me to help someone like that because she wasn't able to do it her family members weren't able to do it they weren't here they were out of state so we really took over and uh, made this happen she was very uh, grateful for it hope you enjoyed this case study and we'll see you in the next one see you in the next one